everyone welcome to payroll 2021 in excel let's talk about minnesota let's talk about minnesota i had my my roommate in college was from minnesota hockey player i mean what a, what a great state great group of people i've been there a few times in the past 20 years uh never been to minneapolis st paul how does that happen you go all the way to colerain and you never go to minnesota st paul whatever all right let's talk about minnesota state tax rates 2020 is what we're working off of. They're probably going to be cost of living adjustments for 2021. So the rates we're going to go over might slightly, slightly, slightly change, but we can still do a video to discuss Minnesota state tax rates because fundamentally they're not going to change. So we're going to discuss what you need and how to do it. So first thing you're going to want to get is you're going to want to get your employee to fill out the W4MN. This one is for 2020. I expect them to issue a new one in 2021 without fundamental changes to this. But I do expect them that, but you may be operating off of one uh, that's older uh, as well. So this is what you fill out. They're gonna put a status, whether they're single or married, basically they wanna withhold at the single rate. And there are gonna be a number of allowances claimed here in F. Once you find out what those allowances are, you're gonna put them right here. Maybe they're one, maybe they're two. And also over to the right here, if you're just filling this in, you're gonna see this is gonna pop up in red because it wants you to pick either the single or married rate. And so once you do that, it's gonna go and it's gonna turn back to blue to know that it's complete. So that once you get your W-4 allowances, you can start to use the, use the information to calculate the tax rates. So the way to calculate it, it's, they're really just two sets of tables for single or married. But other than that, you're going to annualize all your wages. So you're going to take the wages from the period, the gross wages for the pay period, multiply it by the number of pay periods in the year, and then subtract out the number of Minnesota allowances that the person put on the W-4MN and multiply it by the allowance amount. And what is the allowance amount? The allowance amount is $4,300. At least it was in 2020. If it goes up to 4400 everyone's waiting on the federal government to issue the publication 15 so that the states can then apply the proper same logic to their own state rates. So if this goes up to 4400 it'll go up to 4400 there. But as for right now, it's still at 4300 And the guidance is always, if they haven't updated the guidance for withholding it, just withhold at last year's rates. So that's what we have in here right now is 2020 rates. So once you've annualized the wages and you've taken out the allowances times that, that 4,300, then you can just look at the, at the two different types of rates that there are. And I'll show you they're right here. Uh, they're pretty easy. They're actually not that bad. It looks like there's just four different tiers from 5.3% up to 9.85%. This is the table for single. This is the table for married. So all you do to turn that into a formula in Excel is use the nested if formula up here. And what that looks like is if the income is less than 3,800 and they're single, there's no tax. If it's less than 30,760, you're gonna take 5.35% times the amount over here minus the first 3,800, which is not taxable. And then it just continues to go in that rotation. If, if, if this, do that, if this, do that, and add, add any tax that would be calculated there right away. So that's the single for, uh, formula. This is the married formula, which is similar in its structure, just the numbers are different at a higher wage rate um, or a higher threshold. Once you've done that, you just have to pick whether or not they chose single or married here as their filing status all the way over there. Whatever they chose, it's going to choose which is the proper rate, whether they're single or married. So that when they're married, it's 20120. If this person was single, then it would be 232, it'd be more of a withholding because they are of the single and not married filing status. That in four columns is how you tap, uh, calculate Minnesota tax withheld. So then you get a pay stub and you can toggle around different dates and different names of these pay stubs and you're gonna get the Minnesota tax withheld that's gonna show up right there. And that's how it works. So that is payroll in Excel 2021. That's Minnesota state tax withholdings. We have different reports from Minnesota. So it's gonna show you different wages and withholding tax for different periods of time. Just use the drop down menu and it's gonna give you stuff for the different months or pay periods or quarters right over there. Um, it's best to look in the quarterly view for your quarterly filing. Everything just pops up like that. And then there are a bunch of other different sheets which I won't go over because this is mainly a video about Minnesota. 
So I, I'm not aware of any local taxes or local rates or counties or anything in Minnesota, but it, there might be. So if there is, let me know and we'll add it to this file, but I don't think there are. Land of a Thousand Lakes. So Minnesota is done, right? Where are you, Minnesota? You are done right now. Uh, we'll see if the UI wage base goes up from 35000 in 2021. It might. A lot of the state's unemployment wage bases are moving around because of all the unemployment filings in 2020. So we'll see. Up next, it's Missouri. So we're moving on. Payroll 2021. Remember, payroll should be easy. So make it so.